Oh, the matchup show this week. We got to go to the big game. Why? The number one game why? of week eight. You know why, Joss? Because I'm going to oh, be there. Oh, but actually, yeah. it happens to be the number one game of the week. It's the Denver Broncos and the Green Bay Packers. And it's the top two defenses and mm -hmm. top two quarterbacks historically in the NFL with Peyton Manning. Not excluding, of course, Tom Brady. And, of course, the great Aaron Rodgers. Number one defense against the pass is the Denver Broncos. But A-Rod is so good late in the down. Yeah, no question about it when you watch this Denver defense even on tape you can see them flash splash plays made with speed and early in the down they are very aggressive and they normally win so spinning it forward to this matchup what quarterback in the game right now is best late in the down Aaron Rodgers moving in the pocket finding secondary receivers avoiding that quick rush that gets in a quarterback's face I mean right now Aaron Rodgers playing at the top of his game this is a great matchup have the popcorn because Defense of the Denver Broncos and Aaron Rodgers, man, that's worth watching. That's why you want to watch the matchup show, because we've got that piece where Jaws breaks down Aaron Rodgers. But the main reason to watch the show this week is because Merrill Hodge <laughs> is back yeah. on the set. My brother, what do you got on this game? Well, listen, you know, Jaws has set it up perfectly when you think of the speed of Denver's um, defense and really the speed and efficiency of the Packer offense, too. You know, Jaws will talk about late in the down where there's a lot of value to that. But Aaron is also outstanding as far as quickness goes. Now, I think one of the most important things in this game as you watch it, can the Packers get all five guys out in the passing game? So what happens with the speed of Denver's defense, they play this dime package with six defensive backs, yep. and you got those pass rushers. You keep a back end, you keep a tight end in. Well, as soon as you reduce the people that can get out, you free up a lot of defenders. And they'll make a lot of interceptions because of those DBs and the range they have. So... I think the Packers have to constantly threaten that. Aaron has to be awesome early against that speed. The team doesn't have success throwing it against the Broncos this year have gotten rid of the football quickly. Don't not forget, matchup show is on Saturday morning, ESPN2 at 8.30 Eastern, and then Sunday morning, 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. I got my coffee mug. I got my latte up in the press box with my oh, popcorn man. for this, Jaws. I am going to be Sam. ready for this game. <laughs> we will see you on TV.